Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you on this Delhi UPSC MCQ series. In the evening, these lessons are coming, these MCQ lessons and the compilation is very very important and uh, they are extremely important for main stage also because all the facts are making your questions, uh, your answer uh, answers very very rich. So the facts and the explanations both are a huge requirement in the main stage. You must be experiencing it with the, uh, these uh, uh, current papers now the mains is going on so these are gs paper one two three and this ss section these are extremely relevant here so keep following these lessons both the lessons in the morning the hindu analysis come in the evening the mcq lessons they come and playlists are created for both of them and please follow all these lessons pocket news app is training on google, google play you can download that regarding these courses the descriptions are given below you can call on these numbers and the chat section is available here all courses are affordable and very very important so nothing else uh, is required to tell about and the facebook group uh, this is here you will get the pdf and you you can also find the telegram channels link there you can follow me on instagram two first question is regarding international coastal cleanup day a huge uh, number of volunteers they appeared on puri beach in uh, mumbai beaches and uh, on chennai beaches and it was a important event of uh, international coastal cleanup day it is not by any important body like un or something like that it was a casual important event that was uh, started by a lady in us and then it became a global event after 30 years and more than 100, 100 countries are following this issue and it is so uh, uh, important and it is so basic as our requirements are for the ecological constraints and uh, the plastic issue the, the 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 dirty beaches issues and the ultimate sink these oceans have become so many many concerns are there and our future is at stake certainly so that is why this issue is extremely important and it is not by any important body but still it's a very important one so they may ask about the details of it so it is not any fixed date it's third saturday of september when they celebrate it so D none is the answer because it is third Saturday of September every year that they uh, they, they, they celebrate it and the oceans uh, uh, and, and uh, they, these beaches they are cleared by these volunteers all across the world. So it was 1986 when uh, Linda Marinis and Kathy they both uh, started this cleanup there and it has become a global event now more than 100 countries are following it for the last 30 years. This is the picture from uh, Kolkata and uh, uh, here they are showing the Rishikulia rivers beach there because it is meeting directly to the Bay of Bengal. So Rishikulia beach is very important for all your idea turtles also. You must be remembering that that the Aribata issue and here also many many volunteers appeared in uh, thousands of numbers. So very important uh, these things are. Next BCG vaccine Bacillus carmet gurin. This vaccine is not for measles. Measles is a virus based disease and it's a vaccine preventable disease. Many issues we are hearing about measles that the global stock of measles vaccine, they are having a hit and uh, uh, due to the dearth of vaccine, many new cases are appearing and that's a fatal issue for kids. But this BCG vaccine is not for measles. It is for tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a bacteria caused uh, important uh, and dangerous infection and uh, uh, we all know about it it was like a cancer disease today and in 1940s and 30s people used to get chills when they heard the name of tuberculosis so at the same time bcg vaccine was developed and it protect, protected many many kids uh, in those areas where a lot of uh, tuberculosis cases were there a lot of uh, leprosy cases were there so this vaccine saved a lot and issue is that not for a long time it can save any life because the production is there for a limited period of time means maybe 5 10 15 or maximum 20 years so this vaccine was effective at that time but today the relevance is very less because tb has taken a new form of mdr tb and some uh, additional xdr tb cases are also there so these are resistant cases and a very very dangerous form is going on and again it is giving chills to people and like cancer, people are dying because of these uh, uh, these uh, resistant cases of uh, tuberculosis. So, 
the BCG vaccine, they are finding uh, some new things regarding that. Curcumin is a chemical and the nanoparticles of it, they can increase the efficiency of this vaccine. So they may ask you about this, this detail in today's newspaper, this BCG issue is appearing. So second statement is wrong because it is not making bacteria any resistant there. It is actually helping this vaccine there. It is helping the immunity on, in the body. So the curcumin is found in uh, turmeric mainly. So uh, this can be related to some natural compounds also. And this is raising the efficiency of BCG vaccine. So mainly it is given to kids and it may be given to adults also if they are not vaccinated uh, with BCG vaccine ever before. So only, sorry, D9 is the answer because because both the statements are wrong. It is regarding tuberculosis, not not, not for uh, measles they give it. You can see here multi pronge effect of curcumin nanoparticles. And you, you know the immunity in the body that has some memory and because uh, these uh, uh, immunity cells they have memory that's why the vaccines are effective in humans so they can be a great great help in many many uh, diseases so polio is the prime example there and many other vaccines are also given like dpt the dip diphtheria pertussis and uh, uh, tuberculosis vaccine and this bcg is for, is for tuberculosis next 10th schedule 10th schedule was not there originally in the constitution only eight schedules were there so 9th and 10th they were added later and 10th schedule was, schedule was added certainly in 1985 and it was the 52nd amendment act certainly some issues were there some conditions were there like uh, many many uh, elected uh, mps and mlas they were changing parties uh, a lot means uh, in a day some people changed uh, two three four five parties because they were getting different offers so they kept changing the parties and it created a mess so they had to bring this amendment act but you see it is not the best option in our politics because uh, it crushes the individual opinion of any mp or mla because uh, according to anti-defection law people the these elected uh, representatives who are actually rep representatives of people they must adhere to the advice of the party and on the party lines they must vote on the party lines they must talk uh, this is something that is really problematic with the anti-defection law because if they go away from the party line and uh, some uh, 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 problems are there with the party then anti-defection law can be uh, applied there and they may lose their membership but it is not president who will decide about the membership uh, on the grounds of anti-defection law it is the speaker in the Lok Sabha and in the Vidhan Sabha it is also speaker and in Rajya Sabha it is chairman so they will decide about the membership and the qualification of the defecting MP or MLAs. So this is wrong and first is correct. Only one is the right answer here. Second is wrong. It was 1985 and it's a very, very important issue, very controversial issue. Both kind of opinions are there. Means uh, one side says it must be there because uh, without it, people will kept changing parties. But with it, there is no individual opinion, opinion of these uh, uh, elected people practically. That's for sure and today's environment which behaves like that uh, parties are extremely important they all have a single ideology means anyhow you survive there anyhow you win the election that is the only ideology practically or they may say anything but uh, practically this is happening and parties are run by one two three four people so the the democracy is not there in the parties so ultimately uh, what is the system there means uh, a few people they lead the parties they decide about all the decisions of the of the parties and according to those parties mps and mlas they must behave so it is all a kind of a problematic state like a tyrannous a tyranny because uh, a few a number of people or maybe one two three four people they are running the whole party business there and no elected representative can go against them so that's the thing that's why anti-defection law is also a huge problem today in the politics. Many recommendations were there uh, by election commission, law commission and uh, many committees like Dinesh Goswami committee was there regarding that, which was uh, referring the electoral reforms. Next article 102 and 191. They are regarding what? Regarding Supreme Court? No. Regarding jurisdiction, jurisdiction? No. Voting in the houses? No. They are actually for disqualification of the membership, both in state and the center. 
means in uh, uh, these uh, parliament and the vidhan sabhas so d is the right answer here recently punjab cabinet had, has decided about the office of profit case because office of profit is something which can disqualify many members there office of profit is like uh, an issue suppose a government servant is there and he decides to elect the elections so he has to resign from the government job there then only he is elig eligible to uh, 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 stand in the elections there so that if that that uh, person doesn't leave his job then it will become the case of office of profit or maybe according to the definition definitions and the uh, regulations and the rules if any person is uh, related to some company if the uh, stakes are there or he is uh, serving as a director or something like that and he is uh, uh, getting some uh, salary from there so it may be a case of office of profit so regarding that many controversies uh, they come uh, in delhi it came uh, uh, with the aap mlas and uh, now it comes for punjab uh, cabinet they have decided to bring a ordinance uh, 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 there in this case where they are saying that advisors to the government they will not be coming uh, coming under the purview of office of profit issue so the details of article 102 and 191 these are given here and how they can be uh, losing their qualification for membership these are mentioned here this is the information and uh, here they are telling that article 164 says that uh, the number of ministers out of the total membership of the house that cannot exceed 15% okay so according to that uh, this is the controversy because they make many many ministers although cabinet has lesser numbers but uh, ministers they are uh, these uh, uh, these officers are given to many many uh, elected people so there must be a limit so it is the 15% limit there not more than that there can be ministers in the government okay next global average corporate tax this issue is uh, very very relevant today and for the last two days these issues are uh, uh, coming in much detail many many scrutinies are coming articles will come in the next week so we will have some discussion here so next week's editorials will be extremely important please do not miss the hindu analysis videos global average corporate tax is 23.79 it is wrong it is not 25 it is 23.79 percentage so this is not correct this is also not correct because we are not at the lowest in asian economies like taiwan uh, uh, singapore they are uh, uh, having rates below the indian rates of 22 so this is wrong dn is the answer here and you can see this is oecd's uh, average rate this is global average rate for the north america it is 26.75 for europe only 19.37 and for uh, uh, asia it is 21.09 so the global average and uh, the the asian average that is still below in, uh, india's 25.17% because the effective rate in, in india will be 25.17 but that is way below the existing 34.9 percentage so it's a huge change that they have brought here so you can go through these details and these are the numbers given here china at 25 india as 22 but it will be effective 25.17% because uh, the education says and other surcharges will be added to it okay details are given here please go through that these are the benefits which will be there and next issue is regarding black buck black buck many many animals are extremely important if you talk about the upsc and the forest service exam then black buck barasinga chinkara and other uh, uh, species like tibetan antelope the chiru one and uh, the swamp deer sangai deer these are extremely important issues black buck is a different genus and uh, tibetan antelope is a different genus these are called true antelopes chinkara chinkara is a different genus and uh, uh, these this is this is a chinkara is the gazelle species regarding chinkara and this black buck there is a crucial information today in the newspaper that they are saying that they have done some genetic analysis and that is uh, uh, revealing some things that uh, from where they came they mainly came from arabian peninsula and uh, already uh, information is there regarding chinkara that uh, it was the populations were spread till iran from india so uh, it was a huge stretch in this region 
and uh, for thousands of years uh, uh, these animals are there in the grasslands their evolutions those were connected with the evolution and the progress in these populations so that's important black buck case and the chinkara case is very famous uh, uh, with respect to salman khan we all know about that so that was the same animal black buck and chinkara so these two are different genuses and uh, obviously different species because if you talk about that uh, a particular uh, categorization then uh, there comes the family then the genus then the species so genus antelope the black buck is the sole ex extent member of the genus antelope okay so uh, uh, that that is the case and uh, there is a different animal called tibetan antelope tibetan antelope is a different genus okay so it's different from that but that is also called a antelope it is indian antelope black buck is the indian antelope so this is a correct statement but second is wrong it is least concerned in the iucn list but it is there in the schedule one of indian wildlife protection act of 1972 so that's why highest protection is given to it and that is why it became a legal case uh, in the salman khan issue allegedly he killed the black buck there and uh, because it was a protected animal in schedule one that's why it was important so only one is the right answer here second is wrong and uh, you can see the detail genetics reveal origin and evolution of black buck chinkara so please gather all the information regarding the black buck tibetan uh, uh, antelope or uh, which is called chiru and uh, the pashmina goat and the uh, uh, nilgiri thar chinkara swamp deer sangai deer barasingas these are all very very important okay many questions are asked every year one or two questions you will always see regarding these animals so this is all for today we will meet again tomorrow thanks a lot keep watching it was amit singh